There's a lot to see if you take a stroll down Park Avenue in Winter Park. It's a place rich in history and has been a playground for many celebrities from back in the day. And that's why local companies launched four different walking tours so you can experience the city the way they did. News 6 at 9's Carolina Cardona took a stroll around Winter Park to show us what the tours have to offer. A walk through Winter Park's picturesque Park Avenue feels like taking a stroll down a European street lined with cafes, boutiques, and restaurants. In the 1870s, two gentlemen from the north came down. They decided to uh, buy up a bunch of land and make this sort of a, a winter destination for wealthy northerners, and thus the, the name Winter Park. Many celebrities over the years, for the last 150 years, found Winter Park as kind of a quiet haven that they could come to and enjoy. Rich Bradley, CEO of Original Orlando Tours, is taking us on a History Comes Alive Winter Park walking tour. Ronald and Nancy Reagan came to Winter Park to celebrate their 24th wedding anniversary. A lot of the Rat Pack guys used to come to town, but this was a, a Frank Sinatra kind of crowd. It's just one of four new tours highlighting Winter Park's history and hidden gems. Among them, one called Welcome Neighbor. Of course, Mr. Rogers went to school here, met his wife here. Fred Rogers from the iconic Mr. Rogers Neighborhood Show attended Rollins College, and although he moved to Pittsburgh afterwards, Winter Park remained his winter getaway. There's a big celebrity uh, sort of underground history here that a lot of people aren't aware of. Bradley tells us Winter Park is not just rich in history, but in culinary arts too. The food samples come from recipes that were brought from, in most instances, the old world. He came up with flavors of Winter Park walking tour and highlights six locations. Among them, this olive oil store, tucked away in a back area of Park Avenue. There are olive oils and balsamic vinegars from all over the world. We'll have a whole cream cheese platter with a jam or a tapenade, olive oil. At each location, we spend a good deal of time uh, sampling the foods, but also learning either about the history of the building or the business, or even like the foods that are being served. Foods like homemade Italian dishes from Antonio Stratoria, gelato and hot chocolate from Gelato Go Orlando, and a taste of some popular French delicacies made at Cholula. They get a little cup of coffee, they get a chouquette, which is our patachudo. Over at Le Macaron, you'll get to try some macaron cookies. I went for the Colombian coffee pastry. Of course, you guys know I had to try that one being from Colombia. So let's see. This is really good. Carolina Cardona, News 6 at 9. Oh, man, now I want some of those. Yeah. Yes. Would and she admit if they weren't good? That's, that's what I want to know. Yes. The, you and I were, were right in sync. I think she'd have to sample another one. I'm but sure I they think were those good. are all it's delicious. It's all sweet. Yes, yeah. all you sweet. Can. And that and coffee. Mm. I know. We love the coffee. Yes. Winter Park also has a ghost tour Ooh. where you can learn about a ghost at Rollins College, the Annie Russell Theater. And Ooh. Annie Russell, supposedly, she was a famous actress who helped create the theater, and supposedly she appears in a white gown on the oh, second floor. Oh, goodness Ooh. gracious. I love ghost tours. Whoa. <laughs> Julie will have to go with you, well, Troy. Julie and I have heard the ghost here. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. We got I'm, one in the studio. Okay, don't do. stir it up. I know.